Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this morning what we're going to do is put our pages in our album, and then we're going to add a few of our pieces of our ephemera. So this is what my album looks like. There is the inside. I've got, let's see, I think I've got nine pages. That page looks a little bit bent, but I don't think it is, but I think I've got nine pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten pages in mine. And then I've got a pocket here. I went ahead and put a pocket there. A pocket here. This is just a vellum pocket that I've glued down. I'm just going to see how it's going to work. And I've just got my butterflies in there. I put some lace right here to kind of cover up that part of the spine. This is a... Um, plastic pocket on top of some black because I wanted to kind of tone down some of this uh, in the back. Then I've got three pockets on this one and I have my labels here. This is Tracy Fox labels. Um, there's some of my labels in here and then these are oh Kelly Creates. I think that's her labels. These are all digitals. I printed those off and I've got that my labels here so I'll put a little tag that just says labels on this one and then on this side I'll put three more pockets and I'll put labels in those too as I get them printed off I don't have all of my pockets in here I put some in I've got some made I've just got to get them glued in and then this is just some um, Heidi Swap uh, go foil embellishments and then some things that people have made and sent to me and I think this is more of the yes uh, embellishments from that collection and then that's just a little file folder so I'm kind of trying to keep like certain collections together like this is all fall stuff here and then I'll probably put I'll probably take, there's some of my labels there. I need to move them over. I'll probably take one of these and put like Christmas. I may move on back toward the back and put uh, Christmas, lab, Christmas ephemera and labels and things like that on those. So these toward the back, I don't have, la um, I don't have pockets on yet, but we will get them on there. And then this piece, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I get it right there. This is another pocket that we can put things in. I'm just going to put tall things in that. All right, let's get into finishing this up. I'll show you how easy it is to add all of these pages in and finish this up. So let's see if we can put our pages in today. Now, I'll tell you what I did. Um, I got to measuring my spine and my spine wasn't going to hold the amount of pages that I wanted to put in here. So all I did was instead of this being three quarters of an inch, I cut it down to one half an inch. It's still going to be pretty sturdy, I think. And if not, I can always come back and put a piece of Tyvek on top of it. I'm going to cover this blue anyway because it kind of clashes with everything else. But I went ahead and cut this down to one half inch. And then what you're going to do in the very beginning for the very first one and you need to start on the front page on this one not on the back like i usually do is you see where i have this indention right here let's see if i can hold it there we go that's going to be the the start of your spine so the edge of this needs to go right up against that now you're going to have a quarter of an inch at the top and a quarter of an inch at the bottom so just kind of even it up you know space them out even it up if you get your first one straight the rest of them are going to fall into place so just kind of make sure that you get your first one straight this is going to be my first page i have gone ahead and put score tape on here because that's how i'm going to put mine down you could probably do this with liquid glue uh fabri -Tac, something like that i am going to use some art glitter glue on top of this just so that it'll give me a little bit of wiggle room and excuse me if I'm a little shaky today. I think I ate too much cake and pie yesterday at my daughter's birthday party. Whew. We had a lot of food and a lot of cakes and pies. And, and of course, I'm not supposed to eat any of that because of my sugar. But 
I did. I ate a little piece of cake and a little piece of pie. And now I am just a little shaky today. So I will bring that back down sometime today. Now I'm just, all I'm doing is just kind of pressing that in best I can, just like that. And then there's our first page in. See how nice it folds back and forth? All right, fold that one over. We got that one straight, looks like. Then take your second page, and what you're going to do with your second one is you're going to butt the this part right up against that one. That's going to give you a half an inch between your pages, which may be a little bit more than what you want. You could always cut this down to a quarter of an inch. Since these are going to be you know, hold ephemera, they really don't have to be that wide apart because you're not going to put a ton of things in each one. So you can always, if you want to put more pages, cut this down to a quarter of an inch. I'm going to trim this little thing off right there. So that, that's up to you. You can do it either way. Now, if you want to do, I had someone ask, could you do a regular scrapbook album this way? Yes, you can. I have done scrapbook albums this same way. So you can definitely use this for your scrapbook albums or any other type album that you want to make. Now when you're putting the second one down, just kind of make sure that you get it as straight as you can in there before you start pressing. And then I just press that down. And if you want to measure to make sure that everything's exactly you can, I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of go eyeball it. So tell me what you guys are doing. I want to know. I've had a few that have sent me books and things, and I really appreciate that. I haven't got all, all of them in the mail. I did get one yesterday, and I'm so excited to use it. And you know why? Because it's a 1955 book, and that was the year that I was born. I just told you how old I am, didn't I? But I'm so excited to start using that one. The pages are really brown and aged, so I'm excited. But uh, tell me what you guys are doing out there. And if anything has been lifted in your town as far as this virus is concerned, let me know. We haven't had anything change here. We're still on lockdown. Um, we still have to wear our mask and gloves. And only so many people can go in the store at the time and all that kind of good stuff. Which is great. I know it needs. To, we need to be this diligent and take care of everybody. My husband, ugh, he um, just refuses. His name is Whit, by the way, and I don't. I know a lot of you know him. I don't want to keep calling him my husband. Uh, some people call him Mrs. Mrs. E, but um, he just refuses to wear. He'll wear the mask when he goes in Walmart, but he refuses to wear the gloves. He just says, there's no use in wearing the gloves because you're touching all that stuff and you're getting all those germs on the gloves. So as long as I just don't touch my face and I come home and I wash my hands really good, then I'm good. So that's what he does. So he is, he's pretty stubborn like that sometimes. All right, look, we've got four pages in already. I love this. I'm excited to start using this. I've got so much of ephemera laying over here that I have pulled out from here and there getting ready to use this. Okay, now this one I think I cut a little crooked so I'm going to have to be careful putting it down. It's storming here today. We've got, uh, it's very, very dark. I've turned on extra lights so hopefully you can see well, but it's stormy and rainy. We're supposed to have some, I don't think they're, they're predicting tornadoes like the last couple of weeks, but we're supposed to have some severe storms. 
So I'm not looking forward to that. I'm trying to get this video finished and uploaded before any of that weather comes in. Now I had laid all of my pages out in the beginning the way I wanted them to go in my book. So that's why I'm just picking them up and putting them in there. Oh, and I did put my pockets on. I'll have to show you that. This pocket's on the back. This is that one that I showed you yesterday. And then this one, I went ahead and put a piece of vellum up here. I'm going to see how it sticks. So far, it seems to be stuck pretty well. Now, I put it down with uh, score tape. So I stitched around it and put it down with score tape. But I found that little scrap piece of vellum in my stash, and I thought, I'm just going to try that. That would be good to give a try and see if that's working. Now, for some reason, I look like I'm going crooked here. So I think I'm talking and not paying attention. Two and three-eighths. Yeah, I am going crooked. All right, so I'm going to, let me hold these up. I'm going to straighten this up with this one, hopefully. Because I don't want them to end up so crooked. All right, before I press that down, I'm going to look and measure. Uh, one and three quarters. One and three quarters. I think what I'll do is I will pull that up a little bit. Okay, one and three quarters on the nose. One and three quarters, one and three quarters. So I think we're good with that. Now all I did, and nobody will know when this is all said and done, but I, I overlapped that one just a little bit. And I may need to go back and trim that off. I don't think I will. But I just overlapped that a little bit there to straighten that out. And I've got to pay more attention now. So that I won't get the others crooked. See, when they, when you hold them up, they look fine. They don't look crooked at all. But I was having, I could see more spine here on the bottom side than I was on the top. So I wanted to straighten that back out before we got one and three quarter all the way down. Okay, we're good now. Now we can go on to our next page. My daughter was so excited. Her name is Alicia, by the way. I'm going to stop calling her my daughter. Um, she was so excited because, you know, they, they're they the ones that just built the new house not too long ago. And they got moved in in November. And, of course, they're still trying to get everything situated and their yard sowed so they can have some grass and that kind of thing. And she's like me. She loves fresh vegetables out of the garden. So... She wanted a little garden, and her husband just hasn't, he still works from, he works from home anyway, so he just hasn't had time to get her a garden put in. So we bought her uh, two huge planters and some garden vegetables to, and took over. That was her birthday present. She was so excited. I thought she was going to jump up and down. She said, I am so excited. She said, now I can have a garden. She said, even if it's in planters, I don't care. I want some fresh tomatoes. <laughs> she loves fresh tomatoes and fresh cucumbers, and that's what we got her for her planters. So they had those huge, big, huge round planters at um, Walmart, I think it was, for like $16. And they're the barrel kind that, um, and that's kind of, her house is kind of rustic, so... They matched right in with her decor, and she was already potting them and putting her plants in yesterday when we left. Um, she's putting them out on her front porch. They get the That gets the morning sun, so she was really excited. Now, it looks like I have, let's see, I have three quarters of an inch left, and I have two pages. So, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to overlap this one just a tiny bit. I could trim it off, but I'm not going to take it back out and do that. I'm just going to overlap it a tiny, tiny bit. Just about like that. I'm, before I press it down, I'm going to measure. Okay, I've got one half inch left. So that's good. Then I'm going to press this down really well. And I'm just putting that crease in there, as you can see. I hope you can see it anyway. I tried to back my camera out so you could see all of this. So I'm hoping it's still working well. Alright. So then that leaves us the half inch that we need for this page. And I'm going to lay this page up against that one and just make sure that the back comes up. And it does. It does, but I'm going to probably lap this one over just a little bit too. Just so that I won't have any obstruction here when that back starts to fold up. And when I put my pockets on here, I will still have plenty of room to put all my embellishments. So this is a very easy way to make a spine. And look at all these file folders that we used up. And I've still got the other part of the file holders that I can use on another project. And I have another one coming up that we will be using those on. All right, I'm just going to try to make sure that I've got about the same space from top to bottom. Oh, I need to pull that down a little bit. Come down here. There we go. Okay, that looks about right. Right there. So we're going to press that down. And then I'm just going to, again, run my bone folder down through there. I love this bone folder. Have I told you? I know I've told you that I love it. You see how talkative I am today? That's because of a lot of sugar going on in my system right now. All right, so there are our pages. And then I did put this one, this pocket on the front, and I put my little vellum sheets in there. I just stitched around it, and then I glued it down. And I'm thinking I might put something else up there. I'm not real sure. I want something there, but... I thought I might put a piece of this lace across there and then that could just be a little tiny tuck spot for you know little various things what do you think what do you think hmm I'm not sure I just wonder if everything would get hung on it if I tried to put something down in there probably would I may not need to do that but I want, I want some lace somewhere. This is from Cindy's Vintage Cafe. This is her lace. She has vintage lace. She is one of our admins. And she has a uh, sister site. I will link that below. You can go over and grab some of her laces if you'd like to. I might put that lace right down through there. I like that. I kind of like that. Let's see. If I glued it down there, that's still going to fold up fine. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I should press it, but I don't want to, I don't want to get my little heat press out. Okay, if I put it down there, that's going to cover that blue. And it's going to decorate this up just a little bit. I like that. I'm going to put it down. Okay. I'm going to trim it about right there. And then I'm going to trim this one off straighter. The second thing that I love as well as my bling is lace. I love, love, love lace. Now, I'm, I think I'm still going to put something down on here just to cover that blue up. I'm not liking that blue even showing through the lace. So what this is, that Tyvek, and it will just help, it'll cover that blue up, but it'll help strengthen the spine pieces on here. So I'm just going to cut some of this down. I'm not even being precise, I'm just going to cut it down. And that's going to be wide enough right there. Then we'll cut another little piece off. Whoops, I just dumped over my drink. Thankfully it was not open. Okay, 
right there and then we're just gonna and I left the link yesterday for the tie back and I'll leave the link again I love this stuff anytime I'm making mini albums this is what I use it strengthens your spine and it, it will not tear so even if you you can use it on when you sew your spines in or sew your signatures in you can use that this on that too just punch your holes in it with your needle and it strengthens everything it works very, very well I don't have a mini album that I've used this on that has come apart All right there we go so we've got that all covered and now we just need to put down our lace see which side is the top that's the top right there all right what am I gonna put the lace down with I'm gonna have to use Fabri-Tac to put the lace on my Fabri-Tac needs some fingernail polish remover in it it's getting kind of thick and I need to just get another bottle I guess But you can, um, if yours gets thick, you can use fingernail polish remover and add a little bit of that into it and it will thin it out a little. I've done that before. But I try to use, I try to use everything up before I grab a new bottle, but sometimes it just gets so thick that you can't use it. A little bit there we go I don't want to pull it so tight I want it to have a little bit of give in there so I'm gonna push it up a little bit oh got glue come off of my fingers okay there we go I like that I really like that okay I'm gonna trim this little piece off down here I don't really care if it sticks out a little bit on the front side that doesn't bother me at all there we go and then I'm just gonna snip this little piece off right here and that's it and that's gonna flip over so I may put a little bit of glue Look at that. That's what I don't like about Fabri-Tac. Especially when it starts getting thicker. It just, if you don't put the top right back on it, it just bubbles up out of there. So I will put a little piece right there and a little dab right here. And then I'm gonna put a, just a tiny bit right there at that pocket and pull that over and there we go now it won't flop over when we close up the album and open it back up so let's put this top on here before that just continues to bubble all right what do y'all think about that is it okay do you like it i still feel like i want something there isn't that weird i've got another piece of this it is already made into a little pocket, but I don't know. I'm going to leave that. I'll, I may come back later and do something with that, but I'm going to leave it for now. So I've still got to put pockets on some of these. I've got the pockets made, but I just haven't got them glued in. And I've taken out my embellishments because I wanted to have those out when I started to put this together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go down through here putting this um, tie back on just like that and I'm just going to trim it down just a little and I won't make you watch this because you know how to glue tie back down or glue some kind of tape down you know how to do that but I will go ahead and glue this down in there like that i'll glue it on all of them so i won't have any of that blue showing so don't worry about what colors your 
um, file folders are because you can cover them up. See, all this is covered with paper, and then we will just go in and cover that with the Tyvek, and we've got it done. And look at that. I love that little pocket. Let's find something to put in there. All right, I'm going to stick some of my butterflies down in there. And I'm just going to see if that holds well. There's my little butterflies. And then I've got this pocket that I can put some things in. I've got all of these pockets. So we've got the possibility of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 26, 28, 31, 34, 37, 40, 46, 52, 58 pockets, not counting the pockets on the end. That's a lot of pockets. This is going to hold a ton of ephemera. All right, so that is it on our um, ephemera storage journal. Uh, I could not find any more of this canvas paper. I looked everywhere and they have completely quit making it so I couldn't find any more of this. I apologize. I wish I could have. I would have got some more for myself as well as let you know about it too. But anyway, that is our journal. It's completely finished other than I will add more pages in here. And then I will also um, probably do a little bit of something to the spine. I may come back later and put some paint on this. I'm not sure. I kind of like it the way it is. But that is it, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this series. And I hope you're making you one of these. If you are, let me know in the comments below. And we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.